Alright, All right, Shalom, Shalom, I'm Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, great millstone, and we will tell the truth, according to the Bible. And Shalom, to all the brothers out there, the folk on earth, pushing the square in our righteousness and sincerity. You know, it's a brother, Zappa from GMS Riley, North Carolina. Come back for another quick lesson. And um, as you see, as you see, you know, Aki, I'm actually in you know, Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is, you know, where, you know, my residence is at downtown Fayetteville. And uh, you see all this partying and, and, and go lucky and going on right now. And the spirit, and the spirit just told me to turn on the camera and bring out these scriptures. You know, and, you know, just see, talk about what's going on, man. Because this is the time that we're living in, uh, you know, which is death and destruction. These people out here um, um, partying and bullshit, man. Okay. But I want to read this real fast. This is the uh, book of... Second Ezra chapter 16 verse <clears throat> verse uh, yeah, verse 20 I of verse 19 it says behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment so right now as we speak you got multiple things going on in the planet earth right now okay it said famine which is lack of food bread and water okay uh, you know it says this is like it says famine a plague a plague is a pestilence man a disease calamity tribulation that's going on on earth okay you know it says plague tribulation and anguish tribulation means troubling times and anguish means a time of anxiety with anxiety goes back of not knowing if you're gonna live the next day or not and we're living in those times man okay people are anxious they don't have no uh security true security okay you know because the true security is in your house by shimmy i'm sorry the word name calls god and jesus christ all right but these people have a false sense of security and if they don't have no security man they're relying on the government man as a form of security okay these are the things that's happened on the earth man tribulation anguish okay now all these are sent for uh, uh scourges for amendment okay which is what for change for you israelites to call called negroes latinos and native americans to to stop the bs that you're doing the wickedness that you're doing and turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay. It says. Verse 20. It says. But for all these things. They shall not turn from their wickedness. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. So this is what you see right now. That's why I have the camera pointed out. Even though all these scourges are going around. Okay. You know. You see people walking up and down the street. Like it's nothing man. Okay. You know. They're not going to. Uh, 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 they're not going to. Uh, you know. Change from their wickedness man. Okay, you know, and you, like I said, they're partying up and down. And just uh, looked over there, man. When you look over there, they're having a little uh, summer jam, man. Okay, but instead of you know turning back to the owl by me outside, they're out here partying and bullshitting, man. Okay, it says, verse uh, 21 Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap uh, upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. All right, so what? They think they're in a great, great case right now, man. Okay, it's summer. It's hot outside. Okay, you know, the weather's nice. Everybody thinks they're in a good case, man. Okay, but they're not, man. All right, because the Lord just said the evils are going to increase on the earth. All right, more famine. Okay, a lack of fed, brood, and water. Okay, food and water. Okay, it says what? It says... Think of themselves in good case, and evil shall grow upon the earth. Evil meaning bad times. By uh, evil meaning time and ill meaning bad, okay? So bad times is coming to this place in America, but you see these people partying, uh, shopping, going up and down the streets, okay? Especially these are like so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans instead of getting right. If you howl by Shemel Shai, why you still have a chance, right? Okay? You know, it says what? Keep on reading. It says... It says the sword, which is any killing instrument. Okay, right now it's fun and laughing right now because they got a little summer gym going on. But soon it's about to be fights and swords and calamities and bloodshed in the street. Okay, all these things are coming, but you know you got our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and there's so like foreigners that look like other hidden nations, but line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, you know, hey man, you got our people partying and bullshit right now when you should be uh, changing your ways. You know, so the Lord doesn't destroy you. It says, it says, 
<clears throat> sword famine and great confusion and that's what we see right now man this place is in a confused confused state man okay you can't tell a man from a woman okay you can't uh, uh people don't want to accept the the natural order of things for man and woman okay the man ruling the household okay you know the kids is over the parents you know running the household man okay these are all the things that's happening in the earth right now man all right but the lord told us not to be this way man okay and actually to watch for these these are some of the signs uh, that we're in the end right now man okay all right this is why the lord says this this is a book of uh this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 15 verse 1 it says behold speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy all right so this is speak down the ears of my people the, that minds possess us talk about you so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay it says speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth say if yahweh so these are the mouth these are the slaki these are the words of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai all right coming out of his mouthpiece which is the men of the lord okay so i'm gonna read that again it says behold speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy it says which i will put in thy mouth say yahweh and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true what for they are faithful and true and like everything that's gonna happen in these scriptures are right, written in these scriptures is gonna happen man okay and the lord is not a man that he shall lie so he's not gonna turn back from what he said okay you know death destruction is coming but you got our people partying and bullshit this is why the scriptures say you know inside thy security thou shalt be destroyed let's get that okay i'm gonna keep it short man not too long Let's show you that Jake is out here partying, man, when it's it's time to get right with the Lord, man. Okay? Alright? And only the elected of the nation of Israel is gonna get right with Yahweh by Shem El Shai. We know that according to the scriptures. This book of um Ecclesiastes, because also known as Sirach, uh five and seven. Five and seven. And it and it reads. It says, Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh, Shai, and put not off from day to day. And that's what our people is doing right now. All right. Since it's nice outside, it's a nice, good day, good weather. Our people are putting off Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai. All right. To the side. All right. When they need to get right with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai right now. Okay. It says, Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, and put not off from day to day. For Suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashimel Shai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's right, man. Okay, you know, when you think everything's all right, you got the government as your security, your job as your security, uh, uh, having a good time as your security, man. Okay, guess what? All that is going to lead you to down the path of death and destruction. Because it's just read. Let me read that again. It says, Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh. And putting it off from day to day. So don't wait. Okay. You don't know if you're going to live the next second. Walk down the street, get hit by a bus. Okay. You don't know. We don't know. Okay. So this is why we're turning back to Yahweh by Shema Shai quickly. Okay. It says, Make no tearing, which tearing means the prolong. Okay. It says, Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh by Shema Shai and putting it off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai come forth. And in thy security, that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? And that's what's going to happen unto those that don't want to hearken unto Yahweh by Shema Shai and his words, man. Through his men, the prophets, man. Okay? You know? So they like say, you got Jake out here. You know, I can turn the camera real fast. But let, let y'all see what's going on. You know? I said okay. I said okay. All right. You know, I just want to show you what's going on, man. Okay. You got Jake out here secure and, and the security. But look, guess what? It's going to lead you no, nothing but through the path of death and destruction. Matter of fact, I'm going to read up uh, verse 6. It says. Yeah, yeah. It says. I'm at, I started at verse 4. It says, say not I have sinned. Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me so right and that's our people man our people are doing their day-to-day -day bs the day-to-day wickedness all right things that are contrary to the bible getting tattoos uh see uh do sleeping with another man's woman uh woman stepping out on her husband uh which is adultery uh eating shrimp crab pork and lobster okay 
so on and so forth getting the shape of his lineup you know you know breaking all the first ten commandments you know all everything man okay you know but you they want to uh slack you they think that everything's gonna be right for them okay it says you know over here singing and whatnot man okay it says Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me. For the Lord is long suffering and he will not in any wise let thee go. For what? The Lord is long suffering and the Lord is not gonna let you go from your wickedness if you don't repent. Okay? Because the Lord says he's only gonna pardon, which means let go or uh, let free, alright? Or those that will repent and turn back unto him, man. Okay? Alright, so what? If you want that uh uh, that sin to be pardoned from you, you got to turn back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and, and step away from the ways of the world. Okay, it says, verse, uh, verse 5 it says, Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin to sin, which our people are. Our people have no fear to add sin to sin. Okay, just doing wickedness upon wickedness upon wickedness, right? Without no regrets, man. Okay, it says, and say not his mercy is great he will be pacified for the multitude of our sins for mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation resteth upon sinners so what the lord is going to actually what put a foot up jake's ass man okay so to speak excuse my french man all right because this wrath is going to rest upon the sinners of our people all the sinners of the people shall be devoured by the sword man okay you know so what if you if you out here you know uh, twerking it up, you know, uh, gyrating and and, and and partying and bullshit and not turning back to your owl by Shemiah Shai, man. The Lord's going to destroy you, man. All right, we're living in that time, man. Okay, so you just in the spirit, I just want to show Akin what's going on and read these scriptures condemning it, man. Okay, you know, it's nothing wrong having a good time, but you know, having you know a good time once in a while, but hey, man, Jake like to party all the time, so we gotta we gotta curse them out with this stuff, man. Okay, so with that. Hopefully you just edifying to elect the nation of Israel. We're in the time of death and destruction, so get right with you. How about Shimei al shot before it's too late? Let's give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great most of who well and taught me this truthful point to the Bible. Shalom to all the birds I did, that the four cons of earth, pushing this word, and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, say Shalom.